What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out the brand new Dark Magician Ritual Monster that just got revealed. What the heck? Where did this come from? Actually, this is coming from the 20th Anniversary Duelist Box. That's a product in the OCG, and it looks like all six of the anime protagonists are getting brand new cards in here to support their archetypes. So, no matter what era or what anime of Yu-Gi-Oh! you are a fan of, your boy is going to be getting some support. Let's go ahead and start with the Dark Magician Fusion Monster. I will talk about the other cards in the upcoming days but right now it's just so many different cards that have been revealed i don't want to overwhelm you guys with like 15 videos that'd be kind of crazy so this is magician of chaos it's a level 7 dark spellcaster ritual monster 2500 attack 2100 defense in case you're wondering yes that is the exact stat line of the og dark magician you know it only makes sense the first effect says you can ritual summon this card with chaos form Keep in mind, you can ritual summon this card with cast form, but you don't technically have to. Effect number one, if this, uh, excuse me, this card's name is treated as Dark Magician while it is on the field or in the graveyard. Okay, so this is built into a lot of the Dark Magician support cards. The reason that this is important mainly is you want to be able to trigger Circle when you summon these monsters since they count as Dark Magician. You can summon them, you can activate Circle, banish a card on your opponent's side of the field. It also means that not only can you summon this guy back from your Eternal Soul, which is really nice, but you can actually get the protection from eternal soul as well so overall it's a really good card also you can use um dark magic attack yeah you can use dark magic attack because that requires you it's a feather duster that requires you to have a dark uh, magician on the field this card becomes dark magician so basically you get all the benefits of the dark magician archetype while this is on the field or in the grave effect number two once per turn, when a spell slash trap card or its effect is activated, quick effect, you can target one card on the field, that's the cost, and then you get to destroy that card. This is an excellent effect. This reminds me a whole lot of Lord of the Red, if I'm not mistaken. Lord of the Red is a card that acts like this too. Number one, the fact that it's a quick effect is nice. Number two, the fact is you can be the one that activates the spell slash trap card or its effect. Keep in mind, you don't have to actually activate a spell card or a trap card on the field. Activating the effect is relevant because it can be something that's already active like activating your um you know effect of eternal soul to like summon a monster or to summon like a dark magician from your graveyard it can be you triggering circle that's activating a spell effect or it can even be activating like magician navigation in the graveyard this is a really nice disruptive effect and this can actually pop cards on your side of the field if you got something that you want to float or you can even use this card to blow itself up which actually transitions uh, transitions us to the third effect as to why you might want to do that third effect says if this ritual summon card is destroyed by battle or card effect you can special summon one chaos or black luster soldier ritual monster from your hand except magician of chaos so not another copy of itself ignoring its summoning conditions all right so basically if this guy dies by card effect or by battle you can float him into another ritual monster and you don't have to technically ritual summon that monster the, to me this is a really interesting card right because i think the card on paper is actually fantastic like this is an amazing card on paper the problem is i just don't really know how you're going to be able to consistently summon this in dark magician now let's keep it 100 you're supposed to run this in dark magician because that's the whole reason for effect number one the problem is like dark magician how are you going to get to this how are you going to get through your ritual spell dark magician as a deck has no good ways of searching this card and you got no good ways of getting the ritual spells either hell you could even run something like advanced ritual art to summon this which would actually be kind of dope because then you could use a dark magician from your deck send that to the graveyard get this guy on board you'd have a you'd have a dark magician in your graveyard to summon with eternal soul that'd be actually pretty good when this guy dies you just summon it back off that same eternal soul i just don't understand how you're really going to get the two pieces together that are necessary to ritual summon the reason that like the dark magician dragon knight fusion monster works in dark magician is because you don't have to draw if you draw aya tamayas okay you summon your dark magician dragon knight it gives your eternal soul and your other stuff protection obviously that's awesome if you don't draw you know your aya tamayas you basically just play dark magician as normal rituals don't really work like that because they're a package deal like what if you draw i don't know chaos form or advanced ritual arts but you don't have the ritual monster it's like just a dead card sitting in your hand for the entire duel now the only good thing i guess the only solace 
worst there is maybe if you draw this and you can never get to your ritual uh, spell then I guess you could like use this for a lower darkness which is kind of nice because it won't be completely dead and it does give you a nice dark target to get out of your hand to draw some other cards but overall I think that the card itself is great I just don't really see any practical ways of summoning it or not even summoning it but getting the pieces together to actually summon it there that's what I'm trying to say I mean it's an interesting card but I think that if you're playing this you're playing more of a casual version of dark magician probably not the most consistent version of the card but it was a nice gesture and a nice idea by Konami so whatever you guys think leave it in the comment section below thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos and of course look out for the other videos because I will be covering all the cards shortly